The Islamic holy month of Ramadan is observed by over 1 billion people worldwide as the fasting period begins and ends about 11 days earlier each year. Ramadan's effects on businesses vary in timing and impact from year to year. Muslims across Europe and especially in France celebrate the month of Ramadan every year despite the difficulties they endure. Understanding its various effects and how these effects change from year to year is essential for investors in frontier markets, as over a third of these economies are Muslim-majority countries. But factoring Ramadan into financial models can be a relatively complicated process. There's a lot to think about. Après, avec ce qui se passe en France et en Allemagne et en, partout en Europe avec les attentats et tout, la religion elle est vue différemment. C'est malheureux quoi. Mais après, en tant que musulman, euh, non, je trouve qu'on est bien accueilli en France. Et franchement, rien ne nous empêche de ne pas faire le Ramadan. On n'a aucune excuse à ne pas faire le Ramadan. En fait. Là, les Français, ils sont très compréhensifs, ils sont compatissants. Il y a des Français que je connais, ils vont même manger chez les musulmans. Hein, je connaissais des Français, je les invitais à boire, à manger la chorba, etc. Ça leur plaisait. Et puis, euh, ils sont quand même tolérants, chacun prie sa prière. Il faut être, euh, nous, ce qu'on veut, c'est qu'on on doit être solidaire pour tout ce qui se passe en France. Ramadan's slow movement across the calendar carries a range of ramifications for businesses. For one, when Ramadan falls in summer, as it did in Northern Hemisphere from 2010 to 2016, fasting hours were hotter and longer. Fasters who abstain from drinking water are more tired and therefore less inclined to shop. When Ramadan falls in winter, however, the hours of daylight fastings are shorter and nights are cooler, factors conducive to more spending. As Ramadan moves into spring and the winter over the next 10 to 15 years, the fast negative impacts on some products should be less pronounced. This afternoon, I go to Belleville to do a little course. I uh, des des Tunisian trucs quoi, pour garder l'odeur du pays. The food in the country is here. 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 The food in the country is أكلة معينة هم العرب بيحبوا الشربة والبريك هذيك المفتحات أو الحاجة ونفي ناس تحب كسكسي ما قارون ماكلة نحن تونس أنا أنا تونسي. In Belleville, the city hosts a daily market and is a host of hundreds of shops, supermarkets, restaurants that cater to French from Arabs and Muslim descent. What is interesting is that restaurants work hard this month by providing a specialized menu for iftar. They also provide a list of all the traditional sweets and baklava that are usually consumed during the holy month. But economically speaking, the fasting periods can be particularly disruptive and hard to producers of seasonal products in France when it overlaps with their peak season as they will not have the chance to recover lost sales. And Ramadan's movement around the calendar can lead to complications for investors when it extends over two financial quarters. This is Farah Al-Hashim reporting for the Business Review, KTV2, Paris.